hold psychedelic drugs to be treasures. Every drug, legal or illegal, provides some reward. Every drug presents risk. It is up to each of us to measure the risk against the reward. Our generation is the first ever to have made the search for self-awareness a crime. Dr. Alexander Shulgin, known around the world as Sasha, was a great chemist. He created about 250 psychedelic drugs. Around 1960, Shulgin had the opportunity to undergo an experience with mescaline with several of his friends. The experience was extremely profound. It was a day that will remain blazingly vivid in memory and one which unquestionably confirmed the entire direction of my life. The world was marvelous in its detail. The most compelling insight had been brought about by a fraction of a gram of a white solid. A remarkable effect of this mescaline is the extreme empathy felt for all small things, I believe it will be impossible to commit an overt, harmful, or painful act on anyone or anything. The strongest aspect of Shulgin's character is how powerful empathy was as a force to him. It was a driving pursuit, this sense of his connectedness and how crucial connectedness was between every being. for Sasha to discover new tools for insight, new tools for creativity, for people who, who wanted better access to their own unconscious. He felt that it was one of the most important things he could possibly be doing in the world. STP tablets that SAD produced were 20 milligram tablets. Well, a fully effective dose of DOM is on the order of four milligrams. So each of those tablets right on the face of it were basically five doses. It was stronger than they realized, and it also took a while to come on. It took one to three hours to come on. And so people would take it, think that they had taken too low a dose, that it wasn't working. They would then take it again. And what resulted was extremely long trips that had very high levels of anxiety, and in some cases, psychosis. God, no! Oh, no, no! Oh. We heard reports about the people going to hospital piling into the emergency department. They underwent a very traumatic experience. Whenever Sasha heard about that, it made him extremely sad. Anyone would feel the same way. Psychedelics should be treated with great respect and great care. If you're really stupid about your use of them, you can be dead very fast. We were good friends. I just never sat down and said, give me the straight scoop, Sasha. STP, what was going on there? How much were you responsible? Sasha was very much a libertarian, so 
helping people use psychedelics wouldn't have been something he would have seen as something that was undesirable. But it could cause him a really big problem. 